We are back with Jesse Mayshark, who's one of the co-publishers of Compass, an online news source for everything Knoxville and Knox County political and public affairs. Jesse, always good to see you. We're going to break down a new state law that impacts public forum and uh, some of the things we're seeing across the state and some changes we may see here in Knoxville. Explain. Yeah, so uh, the state legislature this year passed a law for the first time requiring local governments to include a public forum section of their regular meetings. And uh, in the past, uh, this has been sort of permissive. They could do it if they wanted to. They didn't have to. Our local uh, bodies, city council, county commission, the school board, have all allowed local forums, uh, public forums over the years already. So the law is not necessarily going to affect them, although it puts limits on how much they can, you know, they couldn't decide now, oh, we're not going to have public forum. Uh, the law still gives a fair amount of flexibility in terms of it doesn't say how long it has to be or how many people you have to allow to speak. It does allow uh, some flexibility. And that's where just this week, the Knox County School Board is actually getting ready just after the state has passed this law to actually limit their public forum a little bit. And let's talk more about that. What limits are they considering and why? Uh, well, first of all, the school board already only allows people to speak for three minutes. City council and county commission allow them to speak for five minutes. So the school board is already a little more restrictive. But now they're talking about uh, telling people that if you want to speak at public forum, you have to call the office the biz by 4 p.m. the business day before the meeting and sign up, which is one thing you can do right now. But also you can just show up at the meeting right now and go up and sign up at, you know, before the meeting starts. And they say that this is kind of a security concern when they have a whole lot of people there at the beginning of the meeting, you get this big crowd all kind of coming up and wanting to sign up. Uh, but, you know, there may be other ways they could address that particular problem without just saying that, oh, no, I, I think the concern that some people have raised about this is uh, the school board often they hold their uh, monthly workshop meetings on Mondays. Um, that would mean you have to sign up the Friday before. Let's say there's something big that blows up on social media over the weekend, which certainly happens. Then you get a big crowd all showing up at that Monday meeting. They're already mad. And then they're going to find out that, oh, you're not even allowed to speak. So I think that's kind of what the school board is, is trying to balance right now. And that's not a done deal, but it, there is discussion for it. And we'll just have to wait and see what those leaders decide on that elected board. Right. They're, they're going to uh, vote on that at their meeting on Thursday. All right. Jesse Maysharp, we appreciate the preview. Always good to see you. And we'll see you online at compassknox.com. Thanks a lot.